Thunder Radio, where we groove as the spirit moves. Yeah. Drawing the honey from the rock with the righteous Reverend Doctor on Booming Thunder Radio. Shalom, mighty friends, fellow Hanukkah warriors of Silicon Valley. May you stand in everlasting glory, forgiven with the truth, the spirit of truth indwelling within your heart that no man can take away from you what God has given you. Yeah. To become a Hanukkah warrior, yeah, one of the 7,000 unseen in the earth, Elijah's, yeah, in their caves, in their own promised land given them faithfully yeah, by those that came before us. Can you imagine a time where those who profess to love the one true God that that one true God allows them to be wiped and removed from the face of the earth by their enemies. Now, this generation wouldn't believe that men's hearts could be so evil in a land, Germany, to try and take over the world and kill all the Jews. Can you believe that such a thing happened in this day and time? The spirit of truth came upon men of glory in this age. Ye atomic soldiers, some. Those who saw the light and have lived with the angels of light their whole lives. Seeking only one true spirit. Yea, that spirit of truth. Yea, the son of glory that only the father knows when he sends his son. For this carnal world of mystery Babylon, lust for stone and mortar to be set one upon another once again. Yea, in this treasured place that ye, this temple mount that ye, the whole earth's womb lusts for the destruction of men by evil. Oh, it's coming again, but in a world created by this generation, a world that would be IT from those in 1948 and 49. Yeah, and T 
ten years later. Yeah, and then twenty years before. And forty years in the desert that the men of war would perish and there would be no more men of war in the earth. Then the uncircumcised sons would come from the desert out of the wilderness and come and wash in the Jordan River seven times. Yea, and that the Elijah's and the faithfulness of all the Elishas by their sides. Yea, those plowers of the blade, those that, yea, give their life for the double portion anointing of the Elisha spirit the rest of their days in this life, that they could be everlasting like their sons, seen and unseen. Yea, that the first resurrection would come in the faithful, those who have died with the blessed hope in their heart, the hope of glory, the love of the truth and not the lie. Yea, everyone will be raised and there will be terror for all those who worship ye not the true God of Israel Mare Yehovah and receive the revelation of the everlasting glory which is his son the living word breathing and walking on the earth in your heart with the door closed behind you in the secret place and only you and that wise master builder the spirit of truth inside that yeah, that hope of glory that he is the son, the Mashiach, Yahushua HaMashiach, alive in your heart. The hope of glory to become ye righteous and true, knowing that all the unseen angels that are faithful, ye a two-thirds portion could never be overcome by the glory yeah, of this world beyond imagination. This eternal bliss, this peace within a man's heart in this wicked earth, leaving Babylon, Egypt, and seeking ye with the faith of Isaac laying before his father with the knife in his hand and as Abraham and the faith of Isaac before him to give himself for the one true God he raised the blade over his son the angels ye, whispered and there was a ram in the bush with his horns locked in the thorns do you hear do you hear oh if you hear then live the life Yea, that narrow way, killing the beast of mystery Babylon within each of our hearts, forgiving all the rest for their blind ignorance of what 
is before us and what the ten kings of the earth those that would take away God's word written upon your heart to worship only the one true God he is jealous and he has had enough you better believe it for this double portion of angels that he brought forth that overcome this one third this 33 per sin in the earth this secret pact of witchcraft and sorcery pharmakia yeah, they're doctors of death and destruction certifiable each and every one oh let all the goodness in their heart yeah, come as silver and gold and yeah, let it be drawn and put asunder a heart of gold pumping the blood of Mashiach Yehoshua yeah, the Hebrew God of the Bible Y'all, the spirit is real and true. If you don't believe that the spirit is real, then this terror I speak of at the first resurrection, your ignorance of the word, your terror and your ignorance your love of the lie more than the love of the truth will judge, ye, be seen by all. And those that bring forth the glory and the hope in their hearts like those that lay before us, ye, let us rejoice with those that came before us that we are all now perfected in the earth. And let the glory, the hope before us, ye, Yehoshua HaMashiach, ye, the everlasting glory that walks before us with the living word in his heart, slaying wickedness and thrusting within hearts and minds of all the earth. Ye mighty friends, this old evil mystery Babylon, ye, the wisdom of a Scottish king and the rambling of a English king in the snake city once I I used to think that you know the earth was just blind to what they were doing but it's quite clear they know exactly what they're doing and they are doing it and worshiping all these other gods, idols and the very ones that will build the temple and sit down upon it. And the holy land defiling it once again. 
that the double portion of angels who watch over God's word and perform it faithfully it could overcome these Zionists that have evil in their hearts. This synagogue of Satan that appears as angels of light. May those that love the word more than their next breath understand these words. Like atomic soldiers, they are everlasting in the glory of the first resurrection. For well, no man knows when the Father sends the Son upon the earth, not the angels in heaven, not even not the angels in the heavens of the earth. No man, yea, the existing spirit of truth alone, the faithfulness of the word, So love the Sabbath day and keep it holy for it is a sign of the covenant that is everlasting the salt covenant with David within our hearts is where the spirit of truth the wise master builder must enter he is the key maker that gives his life for the kingdom. The spirit of truth is everlasting and he can lay it down and pick it up and give whatever his heart desires to the faithful, to the remnant a world beyond imagination, the lustfulness of men going in and out of a gate, yea, with demons and wickedness, yea, blinding them with their brightness. Let no man deceive you, mighty friend. You must be taught by the living word, by that spirit of truth, which when you call out with clean hands and a pure heart, with the word clutched in your heart, he will come and he will reveal himself and the father sends this Holy Spirit which is going to within each of us do things greater than the Mashiach he did for the father when he lived and breathed on the earth and now that one spirit of truth is in each of our hearts. And we each day willingly remove our heads. Our brother Thea faithfully by our side. Yet this day he is before us. He comes and he kneels on the left hand side. 
and says, G one 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 two. And there was silence in heaven for the space of an hour. For all you mathematicians out there, you know, you figure out if a day is a thousand years and a thousand years a day, well, how just how long is an hour? Hmm. I think it's about 20 years, y'all. What do you think about that? Can you find that? Is that cornerstone, that square you walk around, uncircumcised in your heart? You better lay that square upon this rock. You best see its height and its breath. Do you hear? Do you feel its blade pressing upon your chest? Do you feel the noose drawing tighter as a millstone around your neck? Oh, with the blade thrusting through your heart and the millstone snapping your neck. Thrusting blade removes your neck yeah. and your head falls with your ego in the muddy mire of evermore. But yet Thayer's definition for G one 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 two comes from the strong number G one 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 but this rendition of yeah these four aces there is a murmur a murmuring, a muttering, a secret debate, a secret displeasure not openly avowed. Yea, wisdom parted her pages at one, 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 two. And reveal the words of Isaiah this day. And so our brother Thea, who is before us, he whispers. The complete word study is to grumble, to murmur. You remember what happened to Moshe's people who were murmuring. Yea, the very earth opened up and swallowed them alive into Sheol forever. They're grumbling, grudging, murmuring consumed by Mother Earth. Yeah, may she never burp. The murmuring, or this muttering in general that we see in John 7 and 12. There was much, there it is, G1112, grumbling among the crowds 
concerning him. Some were saying, He is a good man. Others were saying, No, on the contrary, he leads the people astray. Yea, these are those that worship the snake. Yea, who wear Dagon hats and worship idols and sun gods. Their blindness, they do these things and perpetuate these things upon all the earth. Knowing the faithfulness of our God to give them exactly what their heart desires. Yea, these devils that can lie, that's what they want. God cannot lie. They don't want God. They want his devils and demons that that's what they do is lie. Lead the people astray. All those who bring the truth, they go against the snake. Yeah. Almighty Father, may the snake eat itself before the righteous. May the double portion angels fulfill your living word in each living vessel filled with the hope of the one true God that does all things. The one true creator, there is but one. He reveals himself by the Father through the Father's Son. And as we know the Son and as we, the us, become as a Son, knowing the Son. And our sons and our grandsons. And we become the Father And our sons become the father. And that treasure, joy given each faithful man. Yea, may the world beyond be in her grasp for the joy in the king of righteousness heart. Hallelujah. Yahushua HaMashiach. Yeah, the murmuring from discontent, the grumbling. Yeah, we see it there in Acts 6. Now, at this time, while the disciples... were increasing a complaint. There it is, G1112. A complaint arose on the part of the Hellenistic. Yeah, those trying to raise hell against the Hebrews because their widows were being overlooked in the daily serving. Yea, that the widows might pour the oil into the dead sons. Yea, the first resurrection. Let them pour till there are no more vessels left. Let there be murmuring no more. In Philip 2 and 14, do all things without grumbling. There it is, G1112. Without grumbling or disputing, do you hear? Without murmuring, meaning cheerfully. 
like we see in the Septuagint in Exodus 16, 7 and 8. And in the morning you will see the glory of Yehovah. For he hears your grumblings, there it is, against Yehovah. But what are we that you grumble against us? <laughs> Moshe said, When Yehovah gives you meat to eat in the evening and bread to the full in the morning, for Yehovah hears your grumblings, there it is, which you grumble. There it is again. You better quit. You grumble against him. And what are we? Your grumblings are not against us, but against Yehovah. To grumble or murmur. What's an ant do? Well, he's a blessing. You know, when God or others speak well of us, or, or we do the same thing for others. Yeah, and an, an inscription of blessedness that one is indwelt by God and consequently is Fully satisfied. Yod he vav he. Written. Ye upon his forehead. So let us go to. Are you ready to take a journey? Almighty Father, part the Jordan. Ye, grant us all a mustard seed as we walk across this day, crossing over into, ye, out of the wilderness, into this Jericho land. Ye, let us do your will, Father. Let us sound the trumpet at that appointed time. Let the first resurrection come. Yeah, let the widow's might pour the oil once more. Thank you, mighty Father. For all the Hebrews, H one 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 two. As we look into the complete word study, we see the piercing of the veil is much more than just the random opening of a page in this treasured book. That you might marvel. And all those that came before us that are perfecting each one of us now, their spirit, this same spirit, that you would have the mustard seed and believe that these things could be real and true. They are. You can't make this stuff up. <laughs> yeah, the Hebrew one 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 two, the complete word study. Belshazzar of Babylon, the name of King Belshazzar of Babylon. Fifteen fifty one B.C. 
You know, he was the son of Nabiondus. the true king of Babylon. Nab, on, I, us. Nab, on, I'd, us. I'd, us. Nabon is eyeing each one of us. The name means Bell protects the king. Belshazzar. He was killed when Persia, under Cyrus, took the city of Babylon in 538 B.C. He defiled the holy vessels of the temple of Yahushua HaMashiach, the spirit of truth, the one who opened and closed the doors every day. Daniel 5, 1 through 4. Belshazzar, the king, held a great feast for a thousand of his nobles, and he was drinking wine in the presence of the thousand. When Belshazzar tasted the wine, he gave orders to bring the gold and silver vessels which Nebuchadnezzar, his father, had taken out of the temple, which was in Jerusalem, so that the king and his nobles, his wives, and his concubines might drink from them. Then they brought the gold vessels that had been taken out of the temple, the house of God, which was in Jerusalem, and the king and his nobles, his wives and his concubines, drank from them. They drank the wine and praised the gods of gold and silver, of bronze, iron, wood, and stone. Hmm. I wonder how it worked out for him. Yeah, all of them. I wonder how it worked out. You know, in his third year, Daniel dreamed a dream that showed the rise and demise of Greece. Yeah, that old billy goat. <laughs> and media from Persia testing men's hearts. And Belshazzar's first year Five five three B.C. Daniel had dreamed about the rise and fall of four mighty skins, ye world empires, followed by the establishment of the kingdom of God. Ye mighty friend, doubt it not which will be ruled by the Son of Man. And I.T. will last forever. Yeah, let us go to Daniel 7. 
13. I kept looking in the night visions, and behold, when the clouds of heaven, one like a son of man, was coming, and he came up to the Ancient of Days and was presented before him. And to him was given dominion, glory, and a kingdom that all the peoples, nations, and language might serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which will not pass away and his kingdom is one which will not be destroyed. As for me, ye, Daniel, my spirit was distressed within me and the visions in my mind kept alarming me. I had approached one of those who were standing by and began asking him the exact meaning of all this. So he told me and made known to me the interpretation of these things. These great beasts, do you hear, which are four, are four kings. Who, who will arise from the earth? But the saints of the highest one will receive the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever for all ages to come. Then the eyes desired to know the exact meaning of the four TH beasts. which was different from all the others, exceedingly dreadful, with its teeth of iron and its claws of bronze, devoured, crushed, and trampled down the remainder with I.T. Feet. And of the ten horns that on I.T.'s head and the other which came up And before which three fell, do you understand? Namely, that horn which had eyes and a mouth uttering great and which was larger in appearance than its associates. Do you understand? The eyes, they kept looking. And that horn, that horn was waging war with the saints and overpowering them until the Ancient of Days came 
and judgment was passed in favor of the saints of the highest one. And the time arrived when the saints took possession of the kingdom. All that has been freely given, we give unto each one of you, like Isaiah 55, that you would meander, and hear the living word, and forgive all of the lies. Thus, He said, The fourth beast will be a fourth kingdom on the earth, which will be different from all the kingdoms and will devour the whole earth and tread it down and crush it. Do you understand how fire blazes upon a lake? As for the ten horns, out of this kingdom ten kings will arise. And another will arise after them. And he will be different from the previous ones and will subdue three kings. He will speak out against the Most High and wear down the saints of the highest one. And he will intend to make alterations in times, yea, sun-worshipping days and not the Sabbath day, and in law, yea, a little wafer, yea, and not the living word once more and they will be given into his hand for a time times and half a time do you understand who has his hand He will speak out against the Most High and wear down the saints of the Highest One, and he will intend to make alterations in times and in law, and they will be given into his hand for a time, times, and half a time. But the court will sit and his dominion will be taken away annihilated and destroyed forever do you hear then the sovereignty the dominion and the greatness of the kingdoms under The whole heaven will be given to the people of the saints of the highest one. His kingdom, an everlasting kingdom, and all the dominions will serve and obey him. At this point, The revelation ended. As for me, Daniel, my thoughts 
were greatly alarming me, and my face grew pale, but the eyes kept the matter, yea, to each one's self. Ye, mighty friend, the old brown driver, H1112, Belshazzar equals Bell, protect the king. The king of Babylon at the time of its fall, he to whom Daniel interpreted the writing on the wall. You better get tuned up, mighty friend. Make sure, yeah, the spirit within you comes not from darkness, but of the everlasting glory. Be not deceived by carnal men's mind. Yeah, carnal men want your money. Carnal men want to sell you the gospel. If they ask that you would give an offering of a certain amount to receive a gift. Well, that is a cunningly different method with the same result, is it not? Let us turn to Isaiah 29 and begin our lesson this day. Yeah, that the Red Sea would part. Yeah, like Elisha. Throwing down that mantle. Yeah, hallelujah. Whoa. Oh, Ariel. Ariel, the city. David camp. Add year to year, observe feasts on schedule. The eyes will bring distress to Ariel, and she will be lamenting and mourning, and she will be like an Ariel. To me, I will camp against you, encircling, and I will set siege works against you, and the eyes will raise up battle towers against you. Then you will be brought low. From the earth you will speak, and from the dust you are prostrate. Your words, your voice, ye will also be like that of a spirit from the ground, 
and your speech will whisper from the dust. But the multitude of your enemies will become like fine dust. And the multitude of the ruthless ones like the chaff which blows away. And it will happen instantly, suddenly, from yod he vav he the existing one of hosts, you will be punished with thunder and earthquake and loud noise, whirlwind and tempest and the flame of a consuming fire. Yahushua, our King. And the multitude of all the nations who wage war against Ariel, even all who wage war against her and her stronghold, and who distress her, will be like a dream a vision of the night. It will be as when a hungry man dreams. And behold, he is eating. But when he awakens, his hunger is not satisfied. Or as when a thirsty man dreams. And behold, he is drinking, but when he awakens, behold, he is faint, but his thirst is not quenched. Thus the multitude of all the nations will be who wage war against Mount Zion. Do you understand now? Be delayed and wait, blind yourselves, and be blind. They become drunk, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. For Yehovah has poured over you a spirit of deep sleep. He has shut your eyes, the prophets, and he has covered your heads, the seers, the entire vision will be to you like the words of a sealed book, which when they give it to the one who is literate, saying, please read this, he will say, the eyes cannot. for it is sealed. Then the book will be given to the one who is illiterate, saying, Please read this. And he will say, The eyes cannot read. Then Yahushua HaMashiach says, Because this people drew near with their words and honor me with their lips, yea, lip service, but they remove their hearts far from the Mashiach. And their reverence for the Mashiach consists of traditions learned. Therefore, behold, the eyes will once again deal marvelously 
with this people, wondrously, marvelously. Do you hear? And the wisdom of their wise men will perish, and the discernment of their discerning men will be concealed. Woe to those who deeply hide their plans from our existing Father, and whose deeds are in a dark place. And they say, Who sees us? Or who knows us? You turn around. Shall the potter be considered as equal with the clay that what is made would say to its maker, he did not make me, or what is formed say to him who formed it, he has no understanding. Is it not yet just a little while before Lebanon will be turned into a fertile field, and the fertile field will be considered as a forest, ye a wilderness of Psalm 84 and 6. On that day, yea, this very day, the death will hear words of a book, and out of gloom and darkness the eyes of the blind will see. The afflicted also will increase their gladness in the existing Father, and the needy of mankind will rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. Isaiah 3 14, 15. For the ruthless will come to an end, and the scorner will be finished. Indeed, all who are intent on doing evil will be cut off. Who calls a person to be Who cause a person to be indicted by a word and ensnare him who adjudicates at the gate and defraud the one in the right with meaningless arguments. Therefore, thus says Yahushua's Father, he, the one revealed by the Son, Mary Yahovah, who redeemed Abraham, concerning the house of Jacob, Jacob shall not now be ashamed, nor shall his face now turn pale. But when he sees his children, the work of my hands, in his midst, they will sanctify my name. Indeed, they will sanctify the Holy One of Jacob, and will stand in awe of the God of Israel. Those who err in mind, ye will know the truth. And those who criticize will accept instruction.
But what of these rebellious children? Those whom should be bringing forth the world become in this life, but instead, yeah, they'd rather pound for bugs in deadwood before the sun rises. Yeah, let Yehuda be warned against this Egyptian alliance. Woe to the rebellious children, declares Yahovah, who execute a plan, but not mine, and make an alliance, but not of my spirit, in order to add sin to sin, who proceed down to Egypt without consulting me, to take refuge in the safety of Pharaoh, and to seek shelter from my, yea, in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore the safety of Pharaoh will be your shame, and the shelter in the shadow of Egypt your humiliation. For their princes are at Zoran, and their ambassadors arrive at Haines. Everyone will be ashamed because of a people who cannot profit them. Not for help or profit, but for shame and also for reproach. The oracle concerning the beasts of the Negev through a land of distress and anguish from where lioness and lion, viper and flying serpent they carry their riches on the backs of young donkeys and their treasures on camels' humps to a people who cannot profit. Even Egypt, whose help is vain and empty, therefore the eyes have called her Rahab, who has been exterminated. Now go, write it on a tablet before them, and inscribe it on a scroll, that it may serve in the time to come as a witness forever. For this is a rebellious people, false sons, sons who refuse to listen to the instruction of Yehovah, who say to the seers, you must not see visions, and to the prophets, you must not prophesy to us what is right. Speak to us pleasant words, prophesy illusions. Get out of the way, turn aside from the path. Let us hear no more about the Holy One of Israel. Therefore, thus says the Holy One of Israel, since you have rejected this word and have put your trust in oppression and guile and have relied on them, therefore this inequity will be to you like a breach about to fall a bulge in a high wall whose collapse comes suddenly in an instant, whose collapse is like the smashing of a potter's jar. 
so ruthlessly shattered that a shirt will not be found among its pieces to take fire from a hearth or to scoop water from a cistern. Yeah, like Psalm 2 and 9. For thus, Yahushua HaMashiach, yeah, the living God, the Holy One of Israel, has said, In repentance and rest you will be saved. In quietness and trust is your strength. But you were not willing. And you said, No, for we will flee on horses. Therefore you shall flee. And we will ride on swift horses. Therefore, those who pursue, yea, therefore those who pursue you shall be swift. One thousand will at the threat of one man. You will flee at the threat of five. Until you are left as a flag on a mountaintop. And as a signal on a hill. Yeah. Circumcision hill. The four skins of the tent of meeting. Yea, the badger skin covering it all. The menorah and the living word and the prayers of the saints. Yea, the frankincense and myrrh burning for Yahovah alone. Joseph's coat of many colors. Jacob's. Yea. Twelfth son. The Benjamin. Therefore, Yehovah longs to be gracious to you, treasured sons. And therefore, he waits on high to have compassion on you. Do you understand? Yeah, I hear that train a coming. Do you hear it? She's rolling round the bend. Oh, they ain't seen the sunshine since. They don't know when. They're stuck in Folsom prison. Yeah, Mystery Babylon's train rolls on by. Yeah, they hear that lonely whistle blowing. Yeah, let it blow their blues away. For Yahovah is a God of justice. How blessed are all those who long for Him. O people in Zion, inhabitant in Jerusalem, you will weep no longer. He will surely be gracious to you at the sound of your cry. When He hears it, He will answer you. 
Although Yahushua HaMashiach has given you bread and privation and water of oppression, your teacher will, lo will no longer hide himself. But your eyes, your eyes will behold your teacher. Your ears will hear a word behind you. This is the way. Walk in it. Do you understand? Whenever you turn to the right or to the left, your ear will hear a word behind you. This is the way. Walk in it. The way straight. Whenever you turn to the right or to the left. Psalm 25, 8 and 9. And you will defile your graven images overlaid with silver. And your molten images plated with gold. You will scatter them as an impure thing, and say to them, Be gone! Then he will give rain for the seed which you will sow. Yeah, which you will sow in the ground. And bread, yeah, the yield of the ground. And I.T., will be rich and plenteous. On that day, your livestock will graze in a roomy pasture. Yeah, Psalm 65, 9 through 13, the treasured witness. Also the oxen and the donkeys, which work the ground, will eat salted Fodder, which has been winnowed with shovel and fork. Salted fodder. Yeah, that's kind of like all that radioactive waste that's, you know, I lost count how many tons it is, but, uh, you know, I'm sure that we can trust all those uh, in the government uh, that have, uh, making sure that all of California, yeah, all of the city of angels is safe, and that that Pacific Ocean lapping up against the side of this shut-down nuclear disaster yeah, that's nothing to worry about on every lofty mountain and on every high hill there will be streams running with water on the great ye, the day of the great slaughter when the towers fall do you hear the light of the moon will be as the light of the sun. Do you hear? The atomic soldiers know what that means. And the light of the sun will be seven times. Yeah. Payment for what they stole like the light of seven days on the day Yehovah binds up the fracture of his people and heals the bruise he has inflicted. Behold, the name of Yehovah comes from a remote place. Burning is his anger, and dense is his smoke. 
His lips are filled with indignation, and his tongue is like a consuming fire. His breath is like an overflowing torrent, which reaches to the neck to shake the nations back and forth in a sieve. Yeah, do you understand? You're sifting by the God you worship. That must lick the dust from Yehovah's feet in the earth. And to put in the jaws of the peoples the bridle which leads to ruin. You will have songs as in the night when you keep the festival and gladness of heart as when one marches to the flute to go to the mountain of Yehovah to the rock of Israel. Do you hear the rock of our salvation. And Yehovah will cause his voice of authority to be heard and the descending of his arm to be seen in fierce anger and the flame of a consuming fire in cloud burst downpour and hailstone. For at the voice of Yehovah, Assyria will be terrified. He strikes with the rod. And every blow of the rod of punishment, which Yehovah will lay on him, will be with tambourines and lyres. And in battles, brandishing weapons, he will fight them. For Topath, ah, you remember that spot, right? For Topath has long been ready. Indeed, it has been prepared for the king. Hallelujah. He has made it deep and large, a pyre of fire with plenty of wood. The breath of Yehovah, like a torrent of brimstone, sets it afire. Father, thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for the truth. Thank you for the word within our hearts. Yeah. And as we go... You know what time it is. Close your eyes and open your heart in the deepest way. The screen, yea, this veil, it blinks yes and no. No more. Or no less. You have three credits. But the everlasting. Yea, the Hebrew private eye goes on forever. So hit continue. That Hebrew pie 53 would be served as revelation. Once more. 
Yea, the Hebrew pie fifty-three sum today is one seventy-three. So let us look at the Hebrew. For the strong man. For H-173. In the complete word study, we see it's a proper noun designating O A A Bama O A Bama Hmm Oh, at Obama. Hmm. Yeah, the name of the wife of Esau. Also the name of an Edomite chief. The old brown driver. The Briggs. Yeah, couldn't find that Stratton Island ferry. Yeah, or perhaps they found it and they didn't like what they it turned out to be in the end. Yeah, the end from the beginning. So the BDB definition of uh, Ole Obama is tent of the high place. That's what it means in Hebrew. Wife of Esau and an Edomite chieftain. So those that uh, love the lie more than the truth and turn back from the Hebrew holy language of Hebrew pie and 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 take a a banana cream pie and they they go back to that Greek mindset that old billy goat we see that those that came before us left G 173 as a point yea the living word poking as a dagger upon your heart or perhaps it's just a prick yeah, perhaps they're just pricks in the earth. A thorn or a briar which abounds with pricks. Yeah. And after twisting together a crown of thorns, they put it on his head. And a reed in his right hand. And they knelt down before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. Yeah. Thorn or briar sounds like a bush to me. Yeah, old holly bush. Yeah, full of prickly pears. Yep, made of thorns. The old Thea definition. All those who grumbled on the left-hand side that are to be removed in this instant in the twinkling of an eye. By the righteous, yea, the thorn or the bramble, the bush, the briar, a thorny plant. Yea, mighty friend, are you ready? Is your heart ready to drill down? Like a private eye, yea, a butcher 
a baker, yeah, who sees all the candlestick makers. Yeah, mighty friend, receive revelation once more. Be groovy and everlasting. Revelation once more. Secure your life. Come through the door. Collect your reward. Unite with revelation once more. The tabernacle within is the reward. The resurrected life that is everlasting. A blessing from the apostles and prophets of old. Hunt for the weapon. Let us gather them for the serpent who brings poverty and the coming war. May Yahovah help the poor men through the tabernacle door. O oh, Father, walk with us. Nourish us with morning manna as the sun rises once more. Carry us who are poor and weak. Open our eyes that we may see and be more than broken hulls upon the tabernacle floor. Grant us a humble heart for the needs of this world. Grant us atonement and reconciliation, a means to connect heaven upon the earth. Let us build a home filled with your presence. Let our doorway lead to spiritual knowledge of Yahshua and unity with him. Let us find and befriend the eternal one, the one who indwells within. Ye mighty friend, the spirit of truth Many gifts, but one spirit. Remember, Mystery Babylon, this world is trying to kill you slowly and surely with poison food and pharmacy, yea, pharmacia of evil men. Sickness and death are the wages of sin. And those wages of sin are placed upon you by the faithfulness of the word. So be watchful of your temple, mighty friend. Let not peels and their white rabbits enter in. To steal your living water for forty days and forty nights. Drink nothing of mystery Babylon. But this distilled water. Drop by drop. Ye. Yeah, four and a half hours a gallon. Let each little drop fall. Blessing in your hand. And let your family drink of it. That they would receive the anointing and the hope of glory in their hearts. Yea, that angels control sickness and death. Reapers. All these pills and cough syrups and all these other things that these doctors and all these pharmacists yeah try to dope you up with yeah all the stuff that they put in our water like Nazi Germany yeah they put things in our drinking water that the Nazis of World War II 
the same thing the Nazis put in the water they gave the Jewish people to drink on their little train ride around the bend. Yeah, you need to tell them that the old caterpillar, yeah, yeah, that the bird, yeah, tell the caterpillar that the bird's got to eat. And now Leviathan has come to feast upon the meat. Seek revelation and the indwelling of Yehoshua, Yehoshua, our Sabbath day, our everyday king. Radiate love upon the world, ye the hope of faith in your heart for the truth. Manna fast the truth, ye. In the hearts of each of your neighbors forevermore. Yeah. Run, rabbit, run. May the white linen yeah, be as an albino rabbit that finds the narrow way, the way straight, that way that was only once. I want to turn you on, mighty friend. Yeah, be groovy in the spirit of truth forever.